Okay, so here's 6.6 .6 number one, guys. Um, yes, you should you should sketch this in your notebooks just so that you can kind of see what you're what you're doing. Um, please don't write in the textbook here. Uh, but this is the graph that I'll be working with. So the, the key points are the uh, intersections of the boundaries of this feasible region, which is in here, right? So those key points, the boundaries are important. Am I frozen still? Sorry. Yeah. And if you want to turn that, uh, this, this first bank of lights off, you can. All right, so what we learned in 6.6 .6 is that the objective function, okay, the G, if you rearrange this equation, uh, not all of them, just the first ones, yeah, yeah. And the middle one, yeah. Usually just this one off just helps with the screen. That's good. So what you want to do is you want to rearrange this to y equals mx plus b, right? So if I take the 2x over there, then I get 5y equals negative 2x plus g. And then if I have this, it's negative 2 fifths x plus 1 fifth g. Now, what's important here is that this represents a line. Here's the slope, negative 2 fifths. And here is the intercept, 1 fifth g. So if we are looking for the optimal solutions, um, so I guess we're looking for the what provides the maximum and minimum. I guess if it just says optimal, you're looking for the max and min. So the largest y-intercept, when you sketch this line through these points, the largest y-intercept, because this is positive, the largest y-intercept will give you the points that yield the maximum value for the objective function. Again, that's in the lesson for 6.6. .6. So uh, real quickly, uh, on your, your page, you want to find uh, sketch a line that has a slope of negative 2 fifths. So it's actually easiest to, to use one of the intercepts here. We'll use 0, 0,5 first, and I'll do this in blue. So I'm going to go down, down 2 and to the right 5, and I'm going to make another point, and that's kind of my, my line. So down 2 and over 5. So I'm going to over, here's 5. So this right here, if you sketch this line and draw a line carefully between those two points, more careful than I can do on my tablet here, but that line, oh, that's, too, that's terrible. This line right here is this line right here, which is related to your objective quantity. So now it shows the objective quantity as related to the y-intercept. So if I drew that line four times with the same slope, going through each of these points in question, then I would be able to compare the y-intercepts. And notice that the point 85, <laughs> if I can draw this here, close enough. The point 85 right here, this one yields the maximum value for the y-intercept, which it, again, this is the y-intercept. The g function is actually five times as big as this y-intercept, whatever it is, because this sh is showing one-fifth g. But nevertheless, the point 85 yields the max g, because it's the highest intercept. The lowest intercept would be 0, 0. That's the lowest intercept. So 0, comma 0 yields minimum g. Okay, so you want to check your answers in the back of the book there, but that's that's kind of how you would run that. Okay. Now, that's that's how you would run that. If this was the objective quantity, you would rearrange that and draw sketch your lines. Okay. Try and make sure the slope is pretty reasonable. If the slope is way off, you may have some uh, intercepts, you know, um, out of out of whack there. Um, uh, if this was positive. If this was positive, then you would have lines that would run positive. They would be like this, right? This is what the lines would look like now. Then what you would see, if that were the case, what you would see is that this is still the max, this, uh, sorry, this point still has the maximum. But then you would see that this point has the minimum because it's the lowest line, you see? So this 3, 0 would have the minimum if that was the case, if this was a positive slope. And finally, the other option, what happens if g was negative? So if it was y equals, let's say it was positive 2 fifths 
uh, x and then minus g. Let's say it was that one. Well, then you would have to do this. You would have a positive, positive slope. And then guess what? The maximum would be the smallest intercept. So 3, 0, because it's the smallest intercept, would be the max g quantity. And this one, because it's the largest y-intercept, this would be the minimum g if it was a negative um, constant. Okay, so that's running through kind of all the options there. Um, this is a lot to comprehend in this section. So um, please, please take the time to work through it. If you have any questions, please ask me or work through it together. You've got about 10 more minutes of class here to finish your assignment. Now, I will